Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, never mind. Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I've gotten a few new subscribers in the past couple days, so I just want to take a second to introduce myself if you are new here. Um, my name is Chloe Davis. I post videos on Mondays and Thursdays, lifestyle, vlogs, and more trendy stuff. Um, today's video is going to be a back to school supplies haul. I actually posted something on my Instagram like last week and I asked you guys if you guys wanted to see a back to school supplies haul or a what's in my back backpack video and then I had an option for both and I'm just going to do both because a lot of people asked for both. So my what's in my backpack video will be coming out probably sometime in the next two weeks but yeah today i'm just going to show you my supplies and i have to tell you this year's school supply shopping was the easiest it's ever been i literally got on target took me five minutes to pick out all my supplies and then my mom ordered it and it literally came most of the stuff came like the next day so i'm just going to go ahead and get right in with this video and show you what i got for this Here's school supplies. Okay, so I don't know how I'm going to organize my stuff this year. Usually I have a binder and I have folders in there and then I just put my stuff in there. So I actually got a black um, two inch binder, just an Avery one. Looks like that on the inside. They have like two pockets, which I thought was cool. But yeah, so I got one of these. And then these binder dividers by Five Star. And they're like plastic, which I think will be so much easier. Because usually I get like those flimsy ones. I don't know. But I don't know what brand they are. But usually I get those and I hate them. Because it's so hard when like the bell rings and you're getting your stuff together. And going through and having to lift up the thing and put every paper in the right category is so hard and these are just so much easier because they're easier to put your paper in and yeah so i think these will make everything so much easier and then okay that's one option i have is this and then put everything else in it or i have these two white five star folders i really like these and so yeah, they just look like that on the inside. And like these ones, oh, they're plastic. And I have two five-star, three-subject notebooks. I thought I got them both in black, but I guess one came in green, but it's fine. I don't really care that much. They'll both do the same thing. So, yeah, so I got two of these. And so I don't know if I should have one of these be A day and one be B day. And then have one of these be A day and one of these be B days. So then all I have to carry around is this, my pencil pouch, and my tracker to each class. I don't know if that would be easier than doing a binder. I don't know. We'll see. I'll probably test both of them out. And if I don't like one of them and the other one's more convenient then I'll do that. That was kind of like the boring stuff. Now I'm gonna get into the fun stuff, at least I find fun. Um, I got these pack of post-its. They're the Miami collection. Um, they're just pink, blue, green, and like orange. And they just look like this. I don't know, I like these ones a lot. I don't really use post-its at school besides if I'm reading a book and I use it for a bookmark but I use them all the time at home and I was actually running out so I got some more and yeah um this is my pencil pouch it's just like a beige color and then it has a blue grid with lines on it and yeah I just think it's cute and then I got these BIC um, mechanical pencils these ones are my favorites but honestly, I don't really care what mechanical pencils I get. They all 
work the same for me. Like, I don't have a preference, but I do really like these ones. And then I got some Expo Diaries markers just for math class. <laughs> And then I got these UB 10-pack um, mini, mini highlighters. I like these ones a lot. This one's my favorite right there. Um, I actually already opened them and started using them for like journaling and stuff. This will fly. <laughs> but yeah, I got these ones. And then I have two more things. I got these. Um, pilot pen, pilot pens. I don't know. They just look like this. I guess they're America's go-to gel ink pen. That's what it says on the back. But yeah, I got these. I don't use black pens a whole bunch, so I didn't want to get like a huge pack. But this will definitely do. And then lastly, I got these um, colored pencils. I got these ones instead of the regular like Crayola like ones because they look nicer and I like the colors better that they had and like they weren't that much expensive like three more dollars and they just look like that and there's 12 of them and I wanted something to like carry it in and this has it. <laughs> So yeah, that is everything I got for this school year. Um, I kept it pretty simple this year because I have a lot of leftover stuff from last year. And usually I get a bunch of extra stuff that's cute and just like fun to have. But I never end up really using it. So as years keep going, I keep getting less and less for school because I realize I don't use it. like. They used to make us get a whole bunch of stuff that we never ended up using and it was just a waste of money. Now, in, actually in this video, I'm going to put it all together too for you guys. I don't know, I thought it'd be fun because this video is going to be really short if I didn't do it. So yeah, I'm just going to do that. Okay, so first off, I'm going to take the stickers off of everything. Everything is currently unpackaged. Um, and yeah, so I'm gonna start setting everything up for you guys. Um, first off, in here, I'm going to put some of this leftover paper I have from last year. Um, I just have this one. Okay, in the binder, I'm going to put these in here. I also have some leftover paper from last year. That's why I didn't get any this year because I have like a whole bunch of it still. So I have these, line, the lined paper, and then I have grid paper for math. And I'm just going to put these in. And then I'm going to put in the folders. And then next, I would typically put in my tracker, but you don't get that until the first day of school. So that's going to wait until then. So that's all I'll put in my binder for now. And then in my pencil pouch, I'm going to put the colored pencils in like that. And so then it's like a kind of a divider. And on one side, I'm going to put the highlighters so I picked five of them that I'm going to put in here. I'm not going to put all of them just because I don't use all of them. And yeah, so that's just going to go on the inside. And then I picked two Expo markers and I'm going to put those 
and on the same side and then I'm going to take all three of the pens and just put them in there and then I'm going to take five pencils and put them in on the other side and I'm also going to put a pack of sticky notes in there and then that's all that's going to go in there and it all fits in there really nicely and so yeah that is my back to school supplies haul for 2020 Make sure you guys all stay safe and thank you for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is the start of the back to school season and yeah, let me know what more like back to school videos you guys want to see down below and yeah, make sure you subscribe, hit the like button and thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next video.